So, good evening, everyone. Uh, the next one we're going to do today is this algebraic expressions. So, the question says factorize completely 8xy, 8x uh, squared y plus 6xy minus 10xy squared. So, we have to factorize completely. So, the second one is factorize x squared minus 6x plus 8. And the last one is make s the subject of the formula. So for the first one, what we need to do is you have to factorization as it has always been. So look for the cobalt factors in all the theory that we have there. So these terms we have here we can, two can go into eight four times two can go into six three times two can go into ten five times so you can factorize out that one two already so here we have x raised to power two here we have one x so that means one x we can take and here we also have one x so that means we can take one x and again you look at here we have one y one y y squared so we have 1y in common to the three terms so we take y in bracket so 2 into 8 that is 4 y into y goes out x into x squared remaining x plus 2xy into 6xy will be 3 2xy into minus 10 y minus 10 x y squared will be x will go so we have 5 y so is there anything we can see factorize no so this is this expression has been completely factorized now so before i continue with the second questions please if today is the first time of you coming across my video or watching my video please subscribe to my youtube channel or follow my page in facebook or in tiktok and subscribe so that each time i put a video you will be one of those that will get it first you will be notified so the next one is x squared minus 6x plus 8. So there are different ways of factorizing a quadratic equation. Uh, this is not an equation, and this is also an expression. We will say. So there are different ways of factorizing such expression. What I normally do is you can create two brackets, open up your x. Because x multiplied by x will give you x squared. Then I will look for two numbers that when I add them together I will give me minus 6. If I multiply them, will give me plus 8. So and those two numbers can be minus 2, minus 4. Minus 2 plus minus 4 is equal to minus 6. And minus 2 multiplied by minus 4 will give you plus 8. So in this case, this is the factor of this expression. There are other ways you can also do it. Like you can also say x squared minus instead of 6x, you can change this to 2x minus 4x. plus 8. So now let's take out the factors. If you take out x here, you have x minus 2. If you take out minus 4 here, minus 4, you have x minus 2. And if you look at this, you have x minus 2 into x minus Four. So the best way you know you can do it, always use that method. 
So the last one is change of subject formula. What we have is y is equals to nine a x minus four b. So we are asked to make x the subject of this equation. So now the thing we need to do is first of all you remove minus four b from both sides. So let's remove four b from both sides. Oh uh, no, this is minus four b. So we are not removing minus 4b from both sides. We are adding 4b to both sides. Plus 4b plus 4b. So which means 4b will go out. In this case, we now have y plus 4b is equals to 9ax. So the next thing is to divide both sides by 9a. So divide both sides by 9a. 9a. That a will cancel that a. So you have only x here. And you have y plus 4b over 9a. So x is equals to y plus 4b over 9a. That's all. So please watch go through the video and look at it. You can watch it as many times as possible to learn the steps. If there is anything, you can put your comment on the comment section or send me a direct message and then we will take it from there. So, till the next one, all the best and take good care of yourself. Bye.